Today's video is going to be on home security, more or less improving it. I've already got good locks in my house and I'm pretty much waiting for them to wear out. These are already all keyed the same. And I guess you pronounce this sledge or slodge. I've put in hundreds of locks and this is the brand I like. Um, more or less they're just really easy to do, you know, really quick. Um, quick Set is another brand that we use, a lot of homeowners use. And they also seem to be really nice ones. We pick these pretty much for the color. I guess you call that, you know, I don't know what actually what color it would be. Stained or whatever, but everybody's going with that now and it seems to be the popular thing. These out of the box are nice locks. Um, of course, lifetime warranty and all that, but we're not really not getting into what you know is in the actual mechanics of the lock. It'll hold up. These are great locks. And like I said, these are for exterior, and this one is one was sold with a deadbolt. Let me show you. Okay. What I'm getting at is the screws that come with it. Some of them come with a little bit longer. I mean, it might only be a half inch longer. And you're supposed to drop, you know, two, two in the slide or your doorknob, that latch actually slides, and two into your jam. The ones that go into the slide are what I would consider the critical ones. Now, if you have a deadbolt, you're thinking, you know, the deadbolt goes deep into the door, there's your security. Well, no, it isn't because it's only about a half inch of wood when that buries in it's actually keeping you safe. The deadbolt does look a lot more impressive, but it's a very little bit of wood keeping the bad guys out, even though you spend a lot more money and it looks to be a lot more hardware on the door. And I'm gonna show you something that you need to get to improve your already great doorknobs. Okay, like I said, these are the screws that come with it in the package. I took two of them, these two out. And these are some other screws. Now you can definitely see the difference. Let me zoom in a little bit, if I can keep it in the light. Those are anywhere from two and a half to three inch screws. Now you will have to drill them out, more or less get a, the same size bit. I'm just gonna grab this one for instance. Just get a bit that is within the same diameter, just a little less to make it much easier to put these in. A hand drill would make it much easier, otherwise you're gonna strip these badly. These hex heads like that, those are really nice. What this does is when you're dropping this in through your slide, it allows the screw to go deep into the stud. You'll have a double stud right there in the door. Sometimes they're sold with these. They go, this is also, this is what the deadbolt goes into. Now this does improve your lock a lot. If you have this, now it's a pain to put them in. You have to actually bore this entire thing out, chisel it out, whatever. This slides in. And of course, it'll be actually made for a deadbolt, which is in this package. I haven't got it out yet, but that goes over to hide it, to make it a nice pretty look. And this is the mechanics behind it. Well, if you have this behind it, as you can see, you can drop in some massive screws inside this. And even one right there in the back, it goes all the way through and it will sink into the studs behind, not relying on that tiny piece of wood to just, you know, if someone kicks it from the outside and it, it cracks, they're inside. If you drop in some monster screws deep into those two studs, three studs, whatever you have, it's going to take a lot more kicks to get in. I mean, they're better off trying to take it off the hinge side than they are actually coming in through the doorknob side. And there again, in the hinges of the door, these are the exact same screws, and most hinges have four screws. You can take out you know, two screws on each hinge. You ain't got to take it all four because you'll mess the, you know, jam, you'll mess the door adjustment up. And I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as that. Okay, down here at my door, this is the, the lock that come with my house. These are fine. I mean, they work well. Now, I do have extra security on here. Of course, I mean, the chain lock is a must. That is a huge time saver. And I'm going to make other videos on that and how to put them in properly. And as you can see, this is all there is. Now, this, these are much larger screws that I have cut in here. But if they were tiny screws, the wood right here is where it's going to pop. And we've seen it before and we've repaired many, many doors for where they have been kicked in. Now, with the screen door, with great locks, and you and you got a bolt lock, which you can't hardly see. You actually have a nice bolt lock with these security-style doors. 
that right there is everything. This is your time saver, and that's what you need is time for them getting in. But if you don't have a screen door that's, you know, at all, this tiny piece of wood is the only thing keeping them from getting in. Once those screws strip out, this right here is going to snap. It's going to crack down and crack all the way across here on top, and they're in. You drop something like this in, and like I said, you will have to bore that out. Take that screw out and just bore it out, you know, with a drill bit. And when you drop this in, it's going to go deep in. And there are two, most houses have two studs. Somewhere around right here, you'll have one stud coming down here and one stud coming down here. And once this drops in deep into the wood, it will go into those studs. Where these other ones, you know, they're only going in about right here. That's as far as they're getting in where the, where the end of the screw is. These will go all the way deep into the studs, allowing it to keep them coming in. Now, like I said, they're going to come in on the hinge side if you didn't have a glass door. And as you can see right there, the screws on this one, which I got two hidden with my little metal cap here. But if you were to take this screw out and this screw out and drop in something like this or even half that, you will be able to enter that stud that's behind the wall. And the same one for every one of them. Just take one or two of these screws out and that will allow you to slow them down and it'll keep that door from literally coming off the hinges. So if you need something to help you out, this is a good way to slow them down, glass door. But larger screws is a much better way. Well, thanks for watching. Hope it helps.